Hello, hello everyone! I am Faith and I am a newbie in this content creation world. I'm here to help people how to DIY their future travel destination. And I'm also sharing reviews on the hotels or inns where we stayed, where to eat, in a particular destination. I also love coffee and providing the best place to where I travel the best coffee to try. Now, here are the complete details and tips when planning to go to Sagada on a budget and DIY. I got the other details also from one of my favorite travel vlogger. Hello, Shane! Tagalugin na nga natin para mas okay. First, research is the key. Kinonta ko muna ang bus slider ng Coda Lines via their Facebook page. mag ask sila ng details of your travel, names, number of packs, date of travel, etc. We booked hours for 1,200 pesos per packs. Yung with CR yung sa amin. So, around... 850 to 1,000 naman yung with no comfort room. Both air-conditioned naman din sila. They accept payment through GCash. Once booked, bibigyan nila kayo ng e-ticket and make sure to have it printed. Two copies kasi yung one copy sa booking office and one copy hihingiin sa bus na mismo ng conductor. Print a copy of the payment transactions din ha. Second, nag-search ako ng accommodation near tourism office. At yung pasok sa budget. In our case, dalawa yung pinagstayhan namin for convenience and experience. First night, nagbook kami sa Sagada Clarence Inn. That is 500 pesos per night per pax. Down payment kami ng half which is 500 pesos since dalawa kami. So 1,000 pesos siya in total per night for two pax. Sila na din magbibigay ng link ng tourism registration and provided ang registration code. Dito kayo mag-register sa umali-kayo.sagada.gov.ph For our second night, nagbook kami sa Sagada Blue Mountain Cabin. Medyo mas malayo ito sa town but we opted to stay here for experience. We booked for two packs which is 1,600 per night. Take note pala na mas malayo ito sa town but they have shuttle para sanduin kayo sa tourism office. Pero may specific time lang yung shuttle na magsusundo which is 7 a.m., 10 a.m., 12 noon, and 5 p.m. They will also provide you the code to register online. January 6, 2023, ito na yung travel date namin. Nag-taxi kami papuntang HM Transport which is sa loob yung booking office. I suggest if yung time ng travel nyo is 9 p.m., be there at 8.30 p.m. Dahil 10 minutes prior the time ng 9 p.m., umalis na yung bus. There are three stops, Tarlac, Nueva Vizcaya, and Bontoc Mountain Province. In our case, since my CR naman yung bus, we opted to just stay. Sulitin lang ang tulog kahit stopover. Also, may sarili kaming foods na dala para tipid na din sa biyahe. At exactly 11 hours, 8 in the morning, January 7, welcome to Sagada! First step is you need to confirm your registration sa tourism office and pay 100 pesos per head for the environmental fee. And dito na rin kayo makakapag-book ng mga tours. You can either book for a private one or a joiners. Pero depends pa yan if madaming tourists on your travel dates. But tourism officers, sila yung maghahanap ng pwede nyong makakasabay. Siyempre, tulisan yung babayaran. In our case, this is yung second time na pumunta kami ng Sagada. In this age 30s, gusto na lang namin mag-chillax. First day namin, puro tulog at hanap lang makakainan sa town. Since nakapag-tour na kami dati, way back November 2018. On our first day, this is where we stayed. Sagada Clarence Inn, one bedroom with two double-sized beds. With toilet and bath, syempre with heater. My foods din sila exclusive only for guests, but we opted to try yung ibang local foods sa town. Where to eat? This indicates yung mga experiences lang namin ha. On our first day, yung ibang kilalang restos opens at 10 a.m. E eh kaso gutom na kami. So, the Mayan restaurant lang ang open during that time ng arrival namin. Thankfully, may bulalo sila on a budget Perfect for the cold weather. Next, pampatanggal umay, dessert at French crepes. We ordered one piece banana caramel crepe and brewed coffee which only cost us 140 pesos and 50 pesos for the coffee. Good for sharing na rin siya. Tips, wear running shoes or trekking sandals for comfort kasi lakad is life sa town. Take note, Saturday kami dumating which is palengke day. 
kaya nakabili kami ng sibuyas. Medyo mahal pa during our travel date. Take note also, nasarado na ang mga stores or restaurants at 8pm. So much better to take your early dinner somewhere. Huwag nyo na kami gayahin. Ang sarap kasi matulog. Pero before that, nagmerienda pa kami sa yogurt house. Mabigat na sa chan. We ordered Mexican open sandwich and mixed fruits yogurt. At nagkwentuhan lang kami sa future plans naming mag-asawa. We're not perfect pero communication is the key. Ang daming realizations for the one whole year naming magkasama. It's just great to know and feel God's goodness to both of us. Again, lakad is life at nag-ikot lang kami to visit the Church of St. Mary the Virgin to take photos. Free naman eh. Magdi-dinner sana kami sa salt and pepper para sa dinner date and para sa birthday sa lubong ng asawa ko. Kaso, it is a Saturday night, medyo madaming tao and at 7.30 in the evening, sold out na yung mga foods nila. Kaya better next time guys, be early. So, lakad ulit tayo until nahanap namin yung Sagada Hub. Closing na din sila, yung may-ari pa nga nag-inform sa amin yung closing ng mga stores sa town pero gladly, tinanggap pa din nila kami. Ramdam ata nila, nagutom na kami ng asawa ko. By the way, they accept GCash payment. After namin mag-dinner, nadaanan namin tong Pitik Wines. This is an honesty store and yung favorite kong wine, which is Bugnay Wine, ang nakadisplay. So, 20 pesos for half shot and 40 pesos for full shot. So, nag-half shot lang ako. And then, ayun. Ayaw naman ako hatian ng asawa ko. Sobrang sarap niyan. And, syempre, bilang Pinoy, kailangan natin maging honest. Kaya nga, honesty story. So, if you have any comments and suggestions, please let me know. And, please like and share for part 2.